Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. Listen. Yeah, that's the dogs. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm never alone, and it has been magical. I've got so many things done. I've been cleaning the house. I baked a brownie, like a giant brownie, for Gabby to celebrate her end of exams. And let me tell you, Gabby loves her brownies. Gabby loves brownies more than anything. I even made some icing to go on it. It's the first time I ever did this recipe. And I think I'm gonna use it. It tastes good. I just don't know if everybody likes icing on their brownies. But anyway, I made that. I washed all the windows, cleaned all the rooms. You can't really tell, but I washed all the floors. All the floors are clean. They're still wet over here. I did a laundry. Cleaned all the bathrooms. Like, I did a lot today, you guys. I do all my spring cleaning in January, February, and March. Because once April hits and it's starting to finally get warm, I spend about six months outside doing all the things that we want to get done. Especially when you live on a farm, I just think that once the weather gets warm, you just wanna be out there doing everything that you love. So that's the plan. When spring comes, I put this house on rest for summer. And that means that I just sweep vacuum, clean the counters, wash the dishes, make my bed, and do the laundry. I don't do any in-depth kind of cleaning in the summer. I think that's why it's called spring cleaning. Even our baby chickens got a nice, clean, fresh bed today. <laughs> Everything got cleaned out. All the va all the rugs vacuumed, still set up in here for the grandkids. Can't wait till they come again. Wait, is that somebody at the door? <laughs> Look who it is! It's Elizabeth! That means we're having a party. It's an after exam party. Yeah. Finally finished exams party. What grade are you in, Elizabeth? 10. Sophie's in grade nine. Gabby's in grade 11. Oh, down, Molly. You're making us look bad. Ellie. <laughs> it smells good in here. Are you baking cinnamon buns or something? I'm she not. She threw her cat at me. <gasps> you he scratched me. I, like, I it's saw. gone now, but. <laughs> She, why is she still so tiny? Is she not gonna So grow? you think she's tiny too? Yeah. She's, she's like, like a baby kitten still, right? She's not gonna grow like, She's like 12 weeks old. Like, look, she, if she doesn't know you. Isn't that funny how cats are like that though? <laughs> They're like, oh, I don't know her. She's a she's stranger. She's so tiny. Is she not I know. gonna grow? Yeah, she is gonna grow. <laughs> but not a lot, I don't think. She's like seven months or something now. We haven't really? even had to adjust her collar. I know, she never tiny. grows. What? She's gotten bigger. Shh, don't say that. She's supposed to stay small. We'll try it. I'm gonna put it on top of the brownie that I made. No, try it, Elizabeth, try it, yeah. I know, I made it from scratch. You made that? From scratch. Try the icing. Tell me, because I want to put it on there, but I don't know if anybody will think it's good. Yeah, calmest one. Okay, so I ran out of icing sugar when I was making the icing, and on TikTok, I saw that you can just grind up regular sugar. Icing sugar is Powdered sugar is just regular sugar ground up. So I did it and I got powdered sugar. Come here, I made you something so special for end of exams. Your favorite food. Can I cake those in there? No. Okay. I made it by scratch. It's brownies. And. Oh. Oops. So like, we're gonna make that. I know, they Blindfolded, look. Blindfolded, deaf, and mute. Blindfolded, like. deaf, and mute challenge. That's what they love to do. Okay, try the icing. Elizabeth says it's good. I wanna put the icing on, but you tell me if you think I should put it on. Gabby gets a spoon. <laughs> I had to make it. I made it by scratch too. Should I put it on? Or just leave it and let people put it on if they... Leave it and let people put it on. A miracle has happened. And that miracle is that Molly now comes outside with me. Because I'm the one that comes outside the most. Me, the one that is allergic to the cold. All the horses are enjoying the new round bell. The only one who notices and looks over is Storm. Oh my gosh, Gracie's not invited. They're not letting Gracie eat. I'm gonna go throw her some hay. I hate that about animals. That's like the thing I hate the most. I don't know if you guys saw, she's standing off in the corner there. All right, let's see if I can get out here without anybody running in. Good. I found out yesterday that goats love orange peels. Oh, hello, Rosie. Let's see if she'll eat it. Girls are picky and boys like stuff. Oh, she likes it. Here, here Blossom. Wow. Actually, they're dropping them on the ground. <laughs> they don't like them. Let her have it, she wants to try it. 
Oh, she likes it. <laughs> I love her. Better not eat too much of them because I don't know how good they are for you. All I know is that our boy found one yesterday and just started eating it. No, they don't like them. <laughs> she walked away. <laughs> Holy moly, look at how pregnant she's getting. Isn't that insane? And then over here, she's getting she's getting super pregnant too. You can see her babies. See? She's getting really pregnant. You might not like it. <laughs> she's so picky. This baby is so noisy. It's the first noisy goat that we've ever had. She's the one that we got from the sales farm. She is super noisy, super picky, super demanding. Everybody, she's like an Ellie goat. We should have named her Ellie too. She's exactly like Ellie, super demanding, super noisy. Actually, Ellie's not demanding. But Ellie is noisy and Ellie is annoying to all the other animals. But then... This one that we didn't want to be pregnant is definitely looking like she's about to drop soon. I'm afraid she only has one baby. So with goats, one baby is like the kiss of death. Um, hello. What are you doing on me? <laughs> He's got his paws on. Hey! Don't eat that. No. One small goat with one large baby is never good. So today I came down because the girls are up at the house playing and they're noisy. So I decided I was gonna make my kidding kit video because I think I have everything in it now except for one thing, so I wanna show you guys. A lot of you guys I know are horse people and you're learning about goats the same uh, right along with us and I love that. You guys are looking, every day I come down and their bodies have changed. Oh, I stopped giving them grain. You're supposed to stop giving them the grain the last few weeks because you don't, especially with that one that I think only has one baby, you don't want her to have like a huge baby. So that's probably what I'm seeing because she looks, this one here looks like she's dropped a lot. I am freezing. <laughs> I feel so bad for that baby. I feel bad for you. She's like, well then give me food. I put hay over there so that she always has some place she can go to eat. I just feel bad for her because she she doesn't really fit into the herd, but it matters to her. Like some goats are like, yeah, whatever, I'll just go stand over here, but it, she is so noisy. Hi, Rosie. Hi, baby girl. So she, Rosie is our only goat that's not pregnant. And he was telling me today that she's coming into heat because he tried to mount her. And that's what's really good about having a weather. Some people believe that you don't need a boy on a farm other than a buck. But for us, the weather is really useful. Yeah, you, you're really useful. Um, they're really good at babysitting babies. So like when you're starting the weaning process, they are really good at taking care of babies. And he is really good with our baby. In fact, he is stalled with our baby at night because he's good to her. The another reason I love having a weather around is because he always tells us when our does come into heat because he'll always try and mount them. Even though he, he can't breed with them, he still will always try and mount them. Look at her. Isn't she the sweetest girl? <sighs> She's looking really chubby. Do you guys remember when we had him, him um, castrated? It took forever for his boy bits to fall off. And I never followed up to see if they even did fall off. But they were there for, and I still think he has them. I think he still has the sack. No, I don't see anything. <laughs> Things you never thought you'd see on a horse channel. But he looks empty. And her udder is really growing. Sometimes I come out here and just try and walk behind them quietly and pretend I'm not doing anything and look at their udders. So today I want to move my feed room. So this is my feed room. It's super tiny. It gets messy because it's hard to get in here to clean because it's so tiny. Um, I love it because it's sunny. It's so bright. It is close to this part where the duck and the goose are. So that's why I love it. I love it because it's sunny and bright and I love sunny and bright. Pretty soon, very soon, we're going to be getting a pig. And so I want to use this area for him. 
We can fill this with straw and make like a nice cozy bed for him. We can hang toys up along here for uh, enrichment for him. Like there's a lot of stuff we can do in this little area for a pit. So I'm gonna end up moving all this, all my feed stuff in here. It's really great in here because I have the fridge in here. I have shelves in here. I have a table in here. I mean, this is really, and I have the water in here. So this is really a good feed room but it's dark and I hate it dark, but I still am gonna do it. I'm gonna set this room up and as I do that, I'm gonna tell you guys all about our new pig. Once winter is over, I think that if we take this thing off, this plastic thing, whoa, that it will really let in a lot more light and I'd like to be able to get up there and clean all this stuff out. It's disgusting. Maybe our cat would like to lay up there. I could make that a cat bed. But anyway, so that's what's gonna happen right now. I am going to turn this little area into our feed room. While I do that, I am going to tell you guys all about our new pig. We've already made arrangements to get him. Um, and I'm gonna tell you his breed and everything I know about him. And maybe I'll include a picture if I can find one. So if you've been following our videos, then you'll know that we arranged to get a mini pig from my sister. I really wanted to be selective of what kind of mini pig that we got, but when I found out about this little guy, my heart was moved and I knew he was the right pig for us, and this is why. She's had this little guy since he was a baby, and she's raised him around her dogs and around her kids. He honestly thinks that he is a dog, and he is so friendly and so people-orientated that I know he'll be a really good fit in our farm. All of our animals are kind of like petting zoo kind of mentality and I just think that he'll really fit in here. Originally I wanted to get a Cooney Cooney pig. I think that those are the cutest. But this guy is an American mini pig. I hate the look of the snout of the American mini pig but after watching him and spending time with him at her home, I really think that he is adorable. His whole body is cream colored. My biggest worries about getting a pig were that they would be destructive and that they would ruin the grass or ruin walls in the barn. And that really is still a worry for me, but because we have so much room for him to roam and graze, and we plan to make some toys for him for enrichment, and because we have so many other animals that he can interact with, I'm hoping that that won't be the case with him. Our friend has a mini pig and it is not destructive at all because it has so much room to, to roam each day. And while I'm excited for him to come and live with us, I do feel really bad for him because he is so super bonded with his family and with the dogs that he currently lives with. I know that it's gonna be a huge transition for him. We have a lot more space than my sister does. We have a lot more space here at the farm and we're gonna spend a lot of time with him and I hope that we can build the same kind of bond that he has with his current owners. Anyway, it is February 1st today and we will be getting him so soon. We just need it to warm up a tiny bit more because he's not used to being outside full time. Um, and then he'll be on our farm with us. I think I'm gonna make this the pig food area and the duck and the goose food area. I just need to get some other better buckets because this bucket over here is what's holding my duck food. I wanna be able to have it on here so it's just easy to grab. I might just empty it into a, a garbage can like I have over here. I actually wish those fit under the table and I wanted to put wheels on them so they could roll in and out. But for now, until I figure it out, they're just gonna sit here and then I have like my um, minerals and all the vitamins and stuff that the goats get in their feed on that table and it, they're sharing it with the cat food and then I have my water over here which makes it super handy so I'm gonna sweep this out and I have a bunch of bags <laughs> a bunch of bags that I'm going to that I'm saving because in a pinch, these things are so good for things. Like say in the spring when we do like a big spring clean out and we wanna sell manure, um, we have lots of horse manure that should be pretty close to being ready. Um, that's one way that we make money on our farm. We've sold horse manure all the years we've had horses. So I saved these bags because they're really good for that. 
that is it for today's video. It was a solo video done almost only by me because the kids have friends over and they're gonna be busy for the whole next 24 hours enjoying their friends. They're gonna be playing VR and having lots of snacks. He bought a ton of snacks. I asked Elizabeth to send me a list of the kind of snacks that she wanted and she sent me a list. This is a joke, okay? This was a joke and I know her sense of humor so I knew it was a joke but it was made me laugh. So she sent me a list of like black bag, the black bag Doritos, mints, the kind of chocolate she likes and then at the very end of the list it said fireball whiskey. <laughs> But obviously we are not a drinking family and we don't let our kids drink. Occasionally they have a glass of wine at Christmas and at New Year's. But we're not a drinking family and we don't condone the drinking of a minor. But she just makes me laugh because she has such an awesome sense of humor. Hopefully that made you laugh too. Don't you know that you're beautiful?